Hello there. So every year I reveal what I earned in the previous year on YouTube. Now I think this is really important to be transparent because let's face it, a lot of YouTubers don't tell us what they earn. And let me tell you, as you will see from this, I earn an all right income from YouTube. Some of the bigger YouTubers, they earn an absolute fortune and they've got additional revenue streams beyond the ones that I've got. Because let's face it, nobody wants to buy a t-shirt with my face on it. So I'm going to show you all of the ways in which I make money on YouTube. And I think this will not only be interesting to you, but if you have your own YouTube channel, it might give you some ideas on how you can make money. And indeed, it'll give you an idea of the kind of money you can expect to earn with 60,000 subscribers getting about 2 million views a year. So anyway, let's get on with the video. I've made a few of these videos in the past and I will leave a link to the biggest one down below which was successful in 2019. I mentioned that a few hundred times on this channel and as I said in that original video it's a little bit misleading actually to talk about the number of subscribers you've got. I've got about 63,000 subscribers and I earn about the same as I used to earn when I had about 30,000 subscribers. And why is that? Basically, it's the number of views you get and the amount you get paid per view for the particular topic that you're uploading a video on. Nothing really to do with the number of subscribers you've got. Of course, if you've got a million subscribers, you're probably more likely to have people tune into your videos every week than if you had five subscribers. So there is a slight correlation but generally you wanna be looking at the number of views. So anyway, what I'm gonna do is go through each of the sources of revenue in turn. There are some interesting things I wanna share with you, like I wanna show you how much the videos I made in 2020 actually made, compared to my back catalog of videos. How much did they earn, videos that I've made five years ago? And uh, at the end of the video, give you the total amount that I actually made in 2020. I'm going to start with something that isn't YouTube at all actually because I consider it part of my social media empire. Um, yeah, I had some old apps in the iPhone store and I make revenue through in-app purchases so people buy add-ons for my apps and I also make money through ads shown, Google ads shown. Try and find those apps if you're even remotely interested but they are absolutely awful. Somehow they still make money even though I actually made them in I think about 2012. They're soundboards, they're nothing special. I have tried making games and things in the past and found that they didn't make as much money as clickbaity soundboards. So yeah, they're really, really bad soundboards where you pay money to get more sounds. And the reviews for them are things like the developer should be ashamed of themselves. And I am pretty ashamed, but I'm also quite proud that last month, in um, ad revenue, they made £51. From the in-app purchases, they also made £29. So people are buying them. They hate them and they buy them. That sounds like a recipe for success, if you ask me. So in total, those apps have made about £80 last month. So something else I'm also a part of is the Amazon Affiliate Scheme. So this is a great scheme where basically you put a link in your video to a product that you've talked about Say you've talked about a Lego set, leave a link to it in your video description. When people then click on that link, you make a commission if they then buy that Lego set. But actually, not just that Lego set, you make two or three percent if they buy anything on Amazon at all. So somebody looks at a Lego set and then they go and buy a brand new television or something, you make a nice little commission. But last month I made £44. So, you know, that's not bad at all. One thing to note about Amazon Associates is that it is a regional system. So obviously there's Amazon UK and Amazon America. You can actually create a geo-targeted links so that when somebody clicks on your link from Brazil, they go to uh, Amazon of Brazil and then you earn your commission in that specific country. So then you have to decide what you're going to do with a, with a payment from Amazon Brazil in Amazon gift cards. Who knows? Anyway, worry about that later. So obviously I've got Amazon.com, Coda UK, uh, Germany, France, Canada, Italy, 
Spain and Australia. There are actually more territories than this, but sometimes you have to have a bank account in those countries, like a Chinese bank account. And, you know, it's actually quite difficult to get a Chinese bank account. It looks a bit dodgy as well, actually, thinking about it. I'm going to make most of my money from Amazon.com and Amazon.co.uk because the majority of my visitors come from those areas. The next is AliExpress. Again, you buy anything on AliExpress and you earn a commission from it. And that's quite generous. And I've reviewed a lot of sort of alternative Lego sets and things in the past and electronics. And, you know, I earn a healthy amount of commission from that. Quite low last month, £11.56, up to sort of £100 in April. So, you know, it fluctuates quite a lot. In fact, that's something you really have to be careful of in YouTube in general. And that's not to kind of take each data point each month uh, with too much seriousness. Take it with a grain of salt and see, oh, that's American, isn't it? A pinch of salt. Then we have Mac sales. Made several videos talking about an upgrade I did to my Mac's hard drive um, and showed you how to do that and showed you how to find the right SSD and the right RAM upgrades for your Mac. And um, those videos through the Mac sales affiliate scheme last month made £40, but I think looks like in April, £114 I made from that. So then there's the eBay affiliate scheme. I don't make that much money from it. In fact, last month I made £1.41 from eBay, but I've made up to sort of £23 back in April. Then there's TubeBuddy. So I did have a spate of making videos on this channel about uh, how to be successful on YouTube. A little bit hypocritical of me now that my YouTube channel is shrinking, uh, but I link to TubeBuddy because it's genuinely a good tool for improving your uh, chance of success on YouTube. I'm not gonna say it does make you successful, but it makes life a lot easier as a creator with their keyword tool thing. I highly recommend that. And so every time somebody signs up to TubeBuddy through my link, uh, I make a little bit of a commission. And the good thing about that is some people pay monthly, so it's almost like a guaranteed income. Last month I made £16.60 from that, but back in July I made £54 because I probably uploaded a video in July a few years ago and loads of people signed up then and that's their billing date. A new item on this list that hasn't been in my previous videos is uh, Patreon because I have a number of generous uh, Patreons. Thank you very much to all of you. And in fact, I'll thank you now for a change. Your names are scrolling down the screen now, especially George Foot and Magnanimous Meg, who are very generous. For a few odds a month, they get early access to all of my videos. And for some reason, that's something that they want, or whether it's just to support me, um, I'm grateful nonetheless. And it's helped offset kind of lower views this year, let's put it that way. So on average, I make about, well, I've got £73 I made in December from my Patreons. In case you are new to my channel, I upload a video every week. I spend, it's usually on a Saturday morning, I spend a couple of hours uh, filming it, a couple of hours editing it, and then ask about with it later on, changing keywords and responding to comments. So, you know, it actually probably adds up to quite a lot of time, to be honest, but I tend to confine my video creation to Saturday. If you add up everything that I've earned across all those sources, I've made £757, which I think is actually absolutely astounding. If I go back to the beginning of my spreadsheet, which is where all this information is anally stored, you know, if I go back to February, whatever that is, I don't know, 2017 or something, £99.76 a month. So things have grown sevenfold since then. Some of it's because I got better at making stuff for YouTube and some of it is just because the more videos you have, the more chance you have of having success. And I tend to treat YouTube, maybe I'm incorrect in this, but I tend to see each video you upload as a little bit of a lottery ticket and your chance to kind of do well. And thankfully, because I've got lots of loyal subscribers, even my worst videos or least successful videos 
do all right, you know, they'll get more than a thousand views. And just while I'm here, let's look at the stats on my channel for the last year. 2.2 million views, 132.5 thousand hours of watch time, which is just extraordinary. I gained 4.9 thousand subscribers, which actually is much more than I thought. And you can see from the view graph here, things do fluctuate considerably throughout the year. So my top videos in 2020, how to buy cheap retired Lego sets legally, top five eBay buyer scams, how to upgrade the solid state drive on a Mac, why I don't buy uh, Lepin fake Lego, or any of these videos from 2020, yeah, why I regret having a smart meter fitted. So seems like a sort of conspiracy theory video, but it's not, it's just a genuine story about my problems with the smart meter, but that did quite well, uh, 48,000 views nearly, made £184 in ad revenue. How to remove vinyl wallpaper easily, sounds like a really boring video but I thought I would mention it because it made nearly £87 in ad revenue just by pulling vinyl wallpaper off the wall, absolutely extraordinary. So one more thing I want to show you before I reveal the total amount of how much I earned. What about the videos? I uploaded in 2020, how much did they make? So this is the ad revenue of the videos I uploaded in 2020. You can see that in the beginning, in between uploads, the videos are making like next to nothing, sort of a few pence. And by the end of the year, I'm making a few quid each day, irrespective of whether I upload a video or not. And there's obviously peaks each time I upload a video and that video gets a load of views on day one. So you can see there's a sort of eight month until August period where things actually build up momentum and before that you upload a video it gets a few views on day one and then it never gets seen by anyone. In terms of views you can see that there was a weird period in May and July where my video started to do well, not sure whether it was an algorithm change or what. By the end of the year the peaks are still uploads but there's a sort of base level which is my previous videos getting a little bit of traction so I think that's quite interesting. And very lastly, before I give you the total, in 2019, just to give you a little bit of context, and I've got another video that goes into this in more detail, I got 4.4 million views in 2019, which is double the number of views I got in 2020. And I made nearly £9,000 in ad revenue alone. I think it was about 12 or 13 grand, uh, taking into account affiliate links. But you'll find out for certain if you go and check that video out. So yeah, it's been quite a come down actually since 2019, but that's because I had a viral video then. But I'm not too bothered because actually, as you're about to see, uh, even though my views have halved, my sort of uh, rate of income per view has increased. My channel's kind of a little bit more efficient in terms of ad revenue. So. Finally, because this is the thing you really want to know, and I've carefully strung it out until the end of the video, and a delivery van has just arrived, a very noisy delivery van. The total amount I earned in 2020 across all of the sources that I've talked about in this video is £8,920, so nearly £9,000, which is about, I reckon, about four grand less than I earned in 2019, which kind of adds up really. Now obviously I have to pay tax on this and I've made videos on this in the past and there are allowable expenses like phones and laptops and things that I use to make these videos that I can use to reduce the tax burden on there. Um, not sure you're interested, but I have got a tax bill of about three grand to pay uh, at the end of this month. <laughs> Looking forward to that because I had a good year in 2019. Don't worry, I'm fine. <laughs> Mentally, I'm not fine, but uh, and bank balance wise, I'm not fine, but physically, I am fine. Anyway, are you surprised that I earned nearly £9,000 from YouTube? Are you disgusted? Are you pleased for me? Let me know down below. Have I given you any ideas, or have you got any ideas to give me about how to improve uh, the money making capabilities of my YouTube channel? Please do let me know. Hope you enjoyed this, and I shall see you next time for another video.